you know, cast chaos, it's fine that Ballad of the Bloodline is like playing a fever dream, but please stop posting spoilers to the quests I play in my dreams. <laughs> hey there, YouTube, what's up? Surreal Canine here, coming back with more Disgaea 4, a promise revisited. In the last episode, we finished up the uh, Time Leap story. And Nagi Clockwork has joined our party, and I don't remember what at all her deal is. Uh, let's take a look. If I can find her. She uses staves, increases stats of ally weapons by 10%. That might actually come in handy. <clears throat> don't know what her special abilities are. Guess we'll find out eventually. But, uh, yeah, she's here in the training ground, I guess. <laughs> how much stuff we just picked up. Like, I don't have any use for any of these, I think. Well, I guess I can use the bandit's hand. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. This looks like a really uh, high-ranking spear, though, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Guess I'll hold on to this. Do I have some new rare fists again? Or was I just duplicating things like crazy? Why would I duplicate a, such a low-ranking item, though? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we are getting off topic here. So, uh, let's just sell all this stuff. It's not like we need any of it. Boom. Alright, let's take on the X-Dimension. This is the destination for foolish ascetics. From now on, you can challenge the X dimension of each map. Just remember to be careful, I won't accept any responsibility. <clears throat> so yeah, you uh... You get these by uh... Whoops. Let's see if I can uh, find them in my thing here. Yeah, you find... You unlock X Dimension stages by buying these promotion hell tickets from scalpers in the item world. They show up in mystery gates every so often. There are two of them, I believe. Each ticket unlocks a different X Dimension stage. Welcome to the X Dimension. Believe in your powers. I think our powers are up for a good challenge. Let's uh, start with episode one. Four maps to do, and since there is no plot in the X Dimension, uh, we can just uh, get right into it. Sounds dangerous. Alright, let's see here. A whole bunch of no entry panels and a level 600 Bastet. Might go faster than I anticipated. Prince Latai's room. Let's see, silence panels. A level 400 Pazuzu. Uh, got five turns until game over, and this guy is going to get stronger every turn. Do you get that feeling sometimes you're just a little overpowered? Albatross Collar! <clears throat> oh, this is, uh... Well, there's more than one guy at least now. <laughs> Let's see, Absolute Area, a bunch of enemy turbo, a bunch of no ranged. And if we... Evil spirit, 
Well, you know what? We can at least change these to enemy turbo panels to, uh, to make clearing them out easier. Thank you, Shironoke. Your services have been appreciated. Alright, let's see. Um... Here I go! Battle Torres can't get through the area, so I guess go with my original plan. Big bang over here. And we have to kill those guys with ranged attacks, okay. Well, for that we have Rutil, and let's see here. What sword attacks does Sylvia know? Does she know? Yes, Rune Dimension, that's what I wanted. Valvatore is, you can get the other one. Rice Omelette! Alright, disaster first. Let's see here, we've got absolute area panels, we've got uh we've got warps. But really we can do this with just two uses of Big Bang, so I'm not worried. I get the feeling you're intended to do the X Dimension right after you clear the post game. Ready to start? Or right after you clear the uh, main story, rather. Ready to start? <laughs> you know, give those level 100 characters a good workout instead of level 7,000. Oh, when will I ever learn to not make things too easy for myself? Sick bed. I'm like uh, chapter two of Dragon Quest Builders, <laughs> which I beat while I was uh, very sick myself. So uh, make of that what you will. What's going on here exactly? I kind of get it, but getting it is kind of scaring me. What's the height difference between... Yeah, that won't work. Do I need to use a dual throw? Let's go set up our uh, campaign HQ. <clears throat> Come, Fenric. The Fall Guy Squad is uh, still ready for action, I suppose. But yeah, we are going to want to play or place. Uh, do we have it? Yeah. Battle Tower. Just place that there and move some guys onto it. Uh, everybody has more than enough move and jump to do what I need to do, so uh, let's just move some guys or not use them. Or, no, let's move some guys with uh, decent throwing stats. Let's see here, where's Tyrant Valve and Torres? I don't know. Alright, Lance, we're <coughs> gonna get put to some good use. Sure. There. 
That is what we are doing. What? Uh, what's similar? Oh, the item world radar, I guess. Yeah. Alright, we're kind of just getting distracted here. Uh, dual throw is what we need, so uh, let's return to the game. Rotten sick bed. do here is uh, start a tower with our guys. Evil spirit, Lee. I guess I have to uh, pick them like. Alright, does, uh, does a battle tower guy need to be at the bottom of the tower? Don't actually know how this mechanic works. Oh, okay, yeah, the battle tower guy needs to be at the bottom of the tower. And that lets anybody in the tower throw anybody else, which is how we get rid of these. So, uh, I was gonna say let's finish them the old-fashioned way, but Cram kind of needs uh, to top herself off in levels. Haifa Invasion. Alright, uh, no lifting, no ranged. Absolute area. So... <coughs> Sorry. Still getting over, uh, still getting over being sick and all. So, alright, this looks simple enough. It's just to uh, beat up the kitties. This is my best move. Which uh, might present a problem because we only have 10 units and there's more, and there's uh, 12 kitties. Evil spirit, Lee. Oh well. I mean, they're only level 110. We can take a hit. Even Lance can take a hit, really. Special attack just because, and uh, because we've probably never seen that one before. Benny did! Actually, you know what? A perfectly serviceable solution to one turn this. Unless you're Marona. <coughs> Which 
should probably uh, teach Marona some actual activism through the uh, old lounge, through the character world, I guess. Are we just gonna hear the same music over and over here in the X Dimension? That's kind of lame, actually. I mean, at least this Gaia 2 had elegant darksters playing while we were doing this. This is just the map select theme. And that's kind of boring. Forest of Corpses. Alright, is the deal here that we just have to, uh... Is the deal here that we just have to, uh, clear out these red geo cubes? I'm up for that. Uh, let's see if we can't speed the process up a bit, though. Oh, actually, you know what? It's easier than that. Ready for me? But first, we must clear some guys out of the way. Bang. Alright, let's end turn here since they uh, can't possibly hurt us. Actually, is what I'm trying to do even possible? Huh. Ready for me? Yeah, I guess so. I do like these puzzles. They add a bit of a variety to the Disgaea experience. It's kind of a shame they're not in uh, Disgaea D2 and 5, as far as I'm concerned. Our, uh, that was our longest stage yet. Whispering Curse. What's all this? Bye bye panels! Oh, that's not gonna be a problem for me. Plan of the Wicked. Got a Mothman, so I can't just melee him to death like I usually do. But it's a no ranged panel, which means, uh. Oh. We have game over panels here. So, uh. Yeah, this seems like it's gonna be a luck based mission. Unless I figure. Oh, I get it. When the, uh, after five turns, it's game over, so you can't... Like, I was worried that the, the uh, Mothman was gonna cause a game over just by wandering into the red area, but if it's absolute area, that means the only uh, threat we actually face is coming from uh, running out of time.
Lance, what are you doing? You can't kill that guy. Well, it doesn't matter, because I died with my first attack. <laughs> Go figure. Altar of Waste. <coughs> oh, look, it's a bunch of biosuit dupes. That was a pun. And you should all be well aware that it is a pun. Is this just a grinding map? This is useless, game. Come on, I have Ordeals 4. What the heck? Look, look at this. Boom. Yeah. Alright, that's 15% uh, that's clear in 20 minutes. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. Things can all be sold, I suppose. Mm. Actually, then again, they uh, they are pretty high-ranking axe, so axes. So maybe I'll hold on to them in case things don't work out quite as well as I hope in the item world. That's going to be it for this episode, though. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time with more. X-Dimension-y goodness. Bye-bye for now.